going to be a reading, a love reading for earth signs. So that would be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right. So I started filming, <laughs> started filming, and I already had some cards shuffled. I started going into detail about what was in the cards, and then I received a phone call, and so the whole video got disturbed. So, lesson learned. Um, that's never happened to me before. It's strange, but now my phone is on Do Not Disturb, and we're not going to get disturbed, so I'm going to start again for Earth Signs. So this is going to be a general love reading. It's, it's not going to resonate with everybody. It's going to resonate with someone. And again, it's for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Those are the earth signs. This is for whatever connection you're in. But keep in mind, I am a twin soul, twin flame reader. So if you are here and you felt guided to um, click on this video, then you are a twin flame. Okay? Because like I said, I am a twin flame reader. All right, so the I've already got some cards out here, and I'm just gonna start again and 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 to what what I was getting into. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. So the first energy that I was picking up on, I apologize for any background noise. My children are out there. There is an energy of a divine masculine who is definitely looking towards a future with a divine feminine who he sees as the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles represents a divine feminine it's also earth sign energy so capricorn virgo taurus okay it doesn't necessarily mean that you're dealing with an earth sign those are just that is just the energy that has came up or we could be reading right now for a divine feminine who is looking towards you know her future but the the energy coming from the three of wands is the energy of a divine masculine now it has nothing to do with sex so um or, or sex or gender is what i'm trying to say so if you relate more to like the masculine side or to the feminine side then this reading is for you okay um and like i said gender is fluid so and the energy is fluid. But the energy is being picked up of a divine masculine who is wanting to plan a future with this divine feminine, right? Who he sees as his queen of pentacles. And this divine masculine is experiencing a lot of jealousy right now because the five of wands is always this energy of like jealousy and competition and rivalry. So he may pick up subconsciously and the fact that this divine feminine is calling in all sorts of divine masculine attention. And he's not liking that, okay? So that's where we're at right now. And I put my phone on Do Not Disturb, so we will not be disturbed anymore. I'm starting out with my Rider Waite deck, and then we're going to move on to the Keepers of the Light and the Healing Heal Yourself Kill yourself, um, Oracle, and on to the love Oracle, okay? Okay, what else do those that have picked up on this reading need to know? What else do they need to know? Okay, so we have three of cups. I don't know if this is a third party energy or not, so I'm going to get some more details into this. Why do we have this Three of Cups, please? Can you tell me more about this Three of Cups, please? Oh, card just hit the ground. Wounded Warrior, Nine of Wands. Okay, so one of the parties in this connection, whether it's the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine, is has recently gotten over a third party situation. So now by third party, I mean, there was a third energy involved um, somewhere in the past. So by third energy, it means the energy of like infidelity or cheating. So one or both of you in this connection have experienced that before. And so there's, there's that energy coming up. And I don't know if this is like past energy that you have healed from 
or this energy that you are experiencing now. So I'm going to pull some more cards on this Wounded Warrior. Tell me about this Wounded Warrior card. Is this person going through healing or are they already? Whoa, there's the card. It flew out. The Chariot. Okay, this is not making any sense as to why we have the Wounded Warrior. Oh, okay. So this is why we have the Chariot. So I was just told that, I was about to say it didn't make any sense, but so I was just told that the reason we have um, the Wounded Warrior and the Chariot, it's starting to make sense now as it, it's coming into my intuition. So the reason we have the Chariot is this Divine Masculine has held back because of this Wounded Warrior energy. So they may still be working on these wounds of, you know, infidelity. So they must have been in a relationship with someone in the past who was dishonest with them and cheated on them. And so because they were trying to heal this trauma that was in their energy field, they have held back. The chariot is about holding back desires, holding back the horses that, you know, Sometimes we want to really run with, you know, sometimes we, we want those horses to take off at full speed, but we have to control the horses, right? We have to be the one in charge or else the horses are just going to take us for a ride. And it came out right when I asked about the wounded warrior. So this divine masculine has been holding back. And for that reason, trying to heal those core wounds. What else do we need to know about this connection? Wow. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands. So this person does want to claim you. Um, they want to claim you. They want to claim you loud and proud. They want to say, this is my person. And they're making the steps towards you. There is also another horse on this card on the Six of Wands. So for some of you, it could have something to do with traveling or um, the way that you get around in life, whether it be by bike or walking or car. There's some sort of like transportation. of pentacles yeah there's something about transportation here so i don't know if your person is wanting to come see you like whether that means like driving to your house or wow yes see we have the ace of swords so this is showing me that there is some sort of breakthrough like they want to they want to break this, this no communication barrier. Like if you guys are not in communication right now, that they want to come forward really soon. We got the Ace of Swords, which means like the truth coming out, like them, you know, slicing right through any type of false beliefs and just you know, breaking that communication barrier wide open. We also have the two of pentacles. So um, one or both of you in this connection has really been working hard on trying to balance, you know, everything going on in your life. So whether that be work, love, um, family, you guys have both nailed this lesson of, of balancing your life and I feel like that's why, that's the reason that your guys' ships are going to be coming in. There is a ship in this background. And also, the Three of Wands usually has, in some cards, like a ship coming in. Someone, like, looking towards ships. So, whatever that means for you guys, it's like your ships are coming in. All right, let's get two more cards in regards to this connection. I'm moving on, please, Spirit. Two more cards. What else do you... This divine masculine and divine feminine needs to know about this connection. Knight of Wands. Wow. See? It, 
it's coming out again, Knight of Wands. So there is that Divine Masculine. And look, on the horse again, oh, there is so much energy of like, and I can feel it, very like, I need to come forward. I need to rush. I need to do this now. And it's, this Divine Masculine is feeling, feeling very antsy, like I need to come in and claim this Divine Feminine before my chance is done, right? And though this is an earth sign reading, so, you know, we got this divine feminine earth energy. Your divine masculine feels like a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, so one more card, please, Spirit, and then we're going to move on. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, and it came out in reverse. So I'm not going to be focusing on any of the bad right now. So, but... So we'll sort of brush up on it. So the Ten of Pentacles is about creating a legacy for, you know, your life. So it's about building something, you know, together that you guys both grow together as a couple. Okay. And it came out in reverse. So to me, that would mean like there's, there's no, there's no like, growth right now it's just everything's sort of stagnant i don't see that happening for long though so let me pull one more card why do we have the ten of pentacles in reverse please spirit just one more card why do we have the ten of pentacles in reverse please why do we have the ten of pentacles in reverse please can you tell me about the ten of pentacles in reverse why did it come out in reverse please spirit what do they need to know what is holding back this connection Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So where there was no movement, there is going to be movement. So Nine of Cups, it talks about a wish coming true. So here is what is what is needs to be focused on right now. Make sure that, you know, what you're wishing for, your wish fulfillment, whatever, Make sure that you're crystal clear as to what it is that you want from this connection because it's going to come very quickly. We got lots of cards of forward movement. Look at this. Um, you know, and even this one, which has to do with, you know, growth and planning a future together. And so decide what it is that you want from this connection because the universe is going to grant whatever it is that you want in this connection. So you have to make it crystal clear what it is that you would like to see in this connection because whatever you focus on, wherever your attention goes is what's going to manifest, okay? So make sure that your thoughts are positive right now. Okay, so what is that? What is going on in my hair right now? It's so funny. Okay, so we're going to do a Keepers of the Light card for you. All right. It's all love, right? Okay. So, um, what does this connection need to know right now? What guide, um, what keeper, I guess, of the light, we should ask, is working with these two twin souls what is the guy that they need to turn to when they are at a crossroads and they don't know who to turn to who is it that they can look to for guidance what is what what <laughs> what guide is leading these two beautiful souls and they're soul journey to find each other. Ah. Okay, we have, oh Lord, how can I even pronounce this? <sighs> Wall. Col? Hull? Good Lord. So it is Dharma unfolding. It says, remember that you are on a path and take one step at a time to happiness. Let me fix my hair really quickly. 
and we are going to read this and see what this is about. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Pronounced Dwa Kul. <laughs> Known as the Tibetan, is a Tibetan Buddhist master. He is said to have many incarnations, including as a devotee of Buddha himself and as one of the three wise men who honored the baby Jesus. Through this earthly experience, he has learned the importance of spiritual practice and discipline and knows that the path we are on unfolds over time. He is now helping lightworkers follow their dharma, which is a Sanskrit word meaning the right way of living. When Dwa Kul appears in a reading, he reminds you that your path is unfolding as it should. Take one step at a time and remember that your only spiritual function is to be happy. You are a powerful person with many lessons under your belt and a real capacity to share your wisdom with the world. Take the time to go over what you've learned recently. Recognize the strength it has brought you and acknowledge where you have been courageous. Dwa Kul is now working with your angel guides to help your journey unfold like a beautiful lotus flower, one petal at a time. So everything is happening as it should. It is time now to go back in your journey and recognize how far you've come and to understand that everything is happening for you and it is unfolding exactly how it's supposed to in your twin soul journey so there's no reason to be um impatient or stressed okay so we're gonna move on to the healing deck heal yourself deck and what do these two Twin souls need to know about their connection. All those that are watching, those who you have guided to this video, allow me to assist them in any way that I can. And thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for Source God messages, for our Star Family messages, for our ancestors' messages, for the messages that are going to help guide our highest self and our highest timeline what do they need to know let me know what they need to know whoa that flew out so we have number 17 beauty and this card right here is about inner beauty it's about knowing that you are absolutely perfect in the eyes of god it's about seeing yourself in um your true light and your true self it's about self-love. It's about self-worth. It's literally about seeing who you are through the eyes of God. So in a beautiful, pure sense of self. Okay. Um, so often it's really, really hard to see ourselves as beautiful. And I know that a lot of us struggle with a lot of feelings of guilt and self-loathing and, um, you know, depressive episodes or whatever it is that you, you know, go through. And during those times, it's really hard. It's really, it's really hard to see ourselves, you know, in this perfect, beautiful light. So very oftentimes we don't see ourselves truly for, what other people see and it's really hard to lose sight of our inner beauty which you know radiates out into our outer beauty so you know i'm asking today that you see yourself in the eyes of kindness because you are extremely beautiful and extremely perfect just as you are right now you don't need to be rich or um extremely attractive or um 
anything like that because you are perfect as you are right now and perfectly beautiful and when something happens when you become a spiritual person it's like instead of seeing people through like this exterior lens of artificial beauty you start to see the beauty of people's souls and it's like a different perception just like clicks in your brain and you look at people and you see them for for what they they really are which is a beautiful divine soul of light and once you can shift your perspective to that then everyone becomes beautiful in your eyes and so what i'm asking you to do right now is to see yourself as you see other people right as this beautiful divine creature because you are and once you shift your perspective as you know in your self-love and start truly loving and and embracing and endearing yourself then that's gonna magnetically attract your twin soul right to you um there's another thing that i wanted to share with you guys and it's this um i have been using these self-love affirmations from this beautiful amazing soul um that she's one of my really um closest friends and she has her own channel she goes by the fascinating fairy and also the hypno fairy and she has this amazing um self-love affirmation like um video on youtube and i've been using it every single night for i want to say now she had an older version and then she just updated it. So I, I was listening to the older version last year and then sort of forgot about it. And then she updated this. She made a newer version of it. And I have been using it every day, I want to say, for like the past two weeks. And <laughs> there's been so many significant changes in my energy field and in just the way that I see myself. From using those affirmations and I play it at a very low level and fall asleep to it and put it on a loop I am going to link it in my description box below so that you guys can benefit from that and listen to it and see let me know um, and update me you can get a hold of me on Instagram or through my email and let me know the changes which are coming about in your life because it has done miracles for my self-confidence and for my self-love and I want everybody to benefit from this so please you know check out that I'll link it below in my description box and um, you know I feel guided to let you guys know this is the greatest gift that you can give yourself and it's gonna change your life and everything will start to fall into place once your self-love is like on point okay so with that being said, we are going to move on to the Love Oracle. One second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, I had to just go check on my children really quick. Okay, so we are going to go to the Love Oracle and get the final messages from your spirit team about this connection. And we are going to call it a reading. All right, what is the final message that you would like these beautiful souls who have stumbled upon this video? What is the last and final thing that you would like them to know? Before I conclude this reading too, I would also like to let all of you know that um, I am going to be doing readings on a donation sliding scale. So that basically means that um, you can pay whatever you would like to pay and I will give you a little mini read and answer questions for you um, for a donation fee. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, my best friend had a fire and she lost everything. She lost her home and she has um, a 10 year old son. And so I, of course, um, am doing everything that I can to uplift her and bring her joy and love. So if you guys would like to assist me in honoring her and helping her feel better, 
then you can get a hold of me. My contact information is always in the description box, box below my videos. You can message me on Instagram or um, on Facebook under Chakra Bunny Tarot. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, or Instagram. Also, I already said Instagram. My email is always in the description box below. You can email me too and we can go from there. Okay? I'm going to be scheduling people in tomorrow. Alright? So, what is the last thing that needs to be known in this connection? What is the last thing that you want these beautiful souls to know? Please. Thank you. <clears throat> We will do, let's do six cards, okay? And that will end and conclude us. Let's take a quick please, Spirit. I'm getting hot. Storm warning. Now, I don't know if this is like literal or if this is like just drama. Whoa, okay, nope. So it's not literal. It's... We got the next card we got is spiritual awakening. So there is going to be some massive upheaval in this connection, which is causing one or both of you to have another spiritual awakening. And, you know, throughout our lifetime, we consistently have, you know, um, more than one spiritual awakening through our lifetime. We are constantly evolving and growing. Okay, so we have text message and travel. And it's funny because I was... One more card, please. I, I did mention something about, you know, I kept getting the chariot and the horses and something about travel. And that vibe is coming through yet again. So for some of you... Um, there is going to be a message that, you remember I told you a message of communication coming through, and it's going to be something along the lines of, hey, I was thinking maybe we should take this trip together or something along those lines. And it comes at the perfect time. The next cards we have is divine timing and reconciliation. Look at that. So when that message comes through, it's going to be something along the lines of, hey, I've been thinking that maybe we should go and do this together. And it's because, look, everything's, it's faded. It's all falling into place as it should. Okay. And it's been a long time coming because look at this, with this the drama and the dark nights of the soul and all of the lessons that you guys have learned, the storm warnings and all of that, it's spurred you both into your spiritual awakening, which is generally what happens when twin souls meet and collide. They will trigger each other into a spiritual awakening. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you all so much. If you'd like to assist me in helping out my best friend, um, then please, you know, reach out, like I said, and book a reading with me um, on a donation-based scale. So that means you can pay me whatever you like, and I will read for you. And 100% of the money is going to my best friend and her son. I love you guys so fiercely. Mwah.